Winter has arrived here and it makes me appreciate what foods I have preserved and what we have in our freezer. I don't like driving in the snow and using up pantry and freezer food items is ideal for this time of year. I had several sugar pumpkins in my cold room from this past growing season. I found a new recipe that, I, that called for pumpkin puree. I roasted these, removed the skins, and pureed them. If you would like the recipe, it can be found below in the description. The amount of flour used does depend on how much liquid is in your pumpkin puree. It should give you around 16 to 20 rolls. It does take a bit for the dough to rise, so starting these early in the day does help. When it comes to planning out our dinners, I typically pick a protein I can cook once and eat from for several days. This saves me time in the kitchen and money spent at the store. This week, I pulled out a chicken from the freezer and it was about four pounds, not very big. <laughs> so I roasted it and served it with mashed potatoes, roasted cauliflower, and one of the rolls I just made. The meat was then removed from the carcass and I made a homemade bone broth using the crock pot. I find this is the easiest method for me. I use this bone broth and leftover meat the following day to make taco soup. This soup made two dinners for my family. Now I still have bone broth and I like to keep some of this frozen in case one of us gets sick. It's great to warm up and drink or make soup with. The last meal is lamb chops. I goofed and didn't film what they looked like when they were finished but these were small and were roasted for about nine minutes at 425 degrees. They were served with some of our leftover mashed potatoes and roasted cauliflower. I hope this gave you some inspiration for cooking at home. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and God bless.